All right. All right, guys. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hello there, guys. I, I've turned on the chats. Can you guys hear me? Just testing out whether can you guys hear me. Yes, yes. Very nice. Thank you, Philip. Hey, thank you, Samuel. Ah, yes. Thank you, Tosha. All right. Let's give it a moment. Let's wait for the other, others to join first before we begin. Right. Let's give it a minute. Hi there, hi there, uh, hi there, Summit. All right. All right, so let me check who's attending today. Hey, hi there, Amada. Hi there, An Yao. Hi there, Atari. Atari. Hi there, Carlos. Hi there, Chiu. Hello, Gary. Hi, Jared. Hi, Hartley. Hi. I are being Fisher. Hello, Jack. Hi, Jones. Hello, Jonik. Hi, Joyce. Justice. Julie. Kong Wai Chan. Riali. Philip. Rudolph. Samuel. Summit. Tadi Wash. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to say your name. Tusha. Tie. Tie Tio and Yawa. Hey, hi there. Hi there. A good evening to you. So yeah, I'm actually from Singapore. So yeah, it's actually evening for me. All right, let us begin. Hey, hi, hello, hello. Hey, really, thank you for joining. All right, welcome to another Tick New Ultimate Forex Masterclass. Yes, it's great to come together again. So yes, just a very, very quick one. I've got to read the disclaimer. So the material provided it's for information purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. All right, the views, information, or opinions expressed in the text belong solely to the author, which is me, and not take me. All right. So yeah, that's me. Today we'll be teaching about the turtle trading strategy. So yeah, my name is Chen Yongjing, and I'm actually from Everest. Fortune Group. So we are actually the finalists for the best Forex research for 2019, 2020, and 2021. We are also the finalists for the best equity research for 2020 and 2021. So yeah, so right now we have a very, very special partnership with TakeMill where we are bringing you guys the good stuff. All right, before we begin... So right now, we actually just launched the Tick Mills Trader Club. So that's something I would like you guys to check out first. So I'll just send it right into the chat. So yeah, you can you guys can log in, you know, with your accounts. It's the Tick Mills Traders Club. And there's actually a very revolutionary way of asking questions. So instead of you sending me charts, you know, just letting me know, like, whether is it good to buy or there's a resistance line. So it gets kind of confusing. But with the Tick Mills Trader Club in place, so this is the application for Tick Mill. So I'll just send both of it to the chat. So you guys can try to access that. You can ask me questions. You can take a look, something like that. Let me, in Euro dollar, let me just say something like, I'm watching for this support level. So generally, if you actually send me a chart image, you told me your support level, but you've got multiple, multiple lines. I do not know what you are talking about. But with this revolutionary technology, the Traders Club, you actually highlight the support level, the text, right click, highlight it. Give me a moment. Okay, let me write the analysis. You can create the analysis, type it out. So let's say I got. A level so a preference let me just type out a random area just to show you guys so let's say i draw a resistance have a support let me just zoom in just a very very quick example so let me just type out like a euro dollar you can give it a title euro dollar potential for buys so i might say i'm watching out for this level. So this level, I can actually 
highlight it, highlight the level. Okay, maybe I'll just show you guys later on in a bit. So actually, you guys can check it out first before we begin. You can check it out first. So I'll just send the links in the description. But the more important thing for today is the webinar on the turtle trading strategy. So we actually have uh, you know a few agendas. What are we going to talk about today? Which is who were the turtle traders? What was their trading strategy? Breaking down their strategy and improving on their strategy and even crafting our own strategy, adding on to the turtle trader. So just a quick show of hands. Have you guys heard about the turtle traders? Turtle traders, anyone? Anyone using that method? Do let me know. All right, no, no. Okay, haven't seen that. All right, you heard about it. Well, all right, no, no, okay. So today is actually very, very interesting because the turtle traders were actually a group of people who did not know how to trade. The participants did not know how to trade. So who were they? They were Richard Dennis and Bill Eckhart. So these two people, they experimented in 1983, just a very, very quick history lesson. They wanted to experiment to see if trading is an inborn skill or can it be taught. So they conducted interviews to find whether people were the right fit for trading and a few lucky candidates were selected for the program and they were known as the turtle traders. The next, Richard Dennis. So maybe I just search Richard Dennis. Let's get his name out. Richard Dennis. This guy right here. Let me show Richard Dennis. All right. This guy right here. He actually gave the turtles, the turtle traders, a set of trading rules to trade with. And they were using his own money. So he actually put out his money for them to trade. So it was actually very, very astonishing. Several turtle traders made triple digit returns within a short few years. And some even went up to set up their own hedge funds. So it was very, very clear that the turtle trading rules worked well in the 1980s. So they actually turned like, if I'm not wrong, $5,000 to a few million dollars. But the question today for this webinar is whether the turtle trading rules still work today. So let us find out. So the turtle trading, what was their strategy? is actually a trend following strategy for the futures markets. So their entry is when they buy, they actually buy. Let me pull it up. They actually buy when the price breaks above the 20 or 55 day high or low. And their stop loss can be pretty subjective or they can you can actually use a trailing stop loss. So for risk management, always use only 1% to 2% of your account. All right, let me just show you guys the strategy. So they have, they have a 22 and 55 day setting strategy. So let me get right into trading view. So let me change the account real quick. Sign in. All right. Okay, let me load out my chart layout. All right, just getting right into you. All right. Okay, if you guys actually move on to, okay, move on to, this how it looks like, the total trading strategy. So there's actually something called the Donchian channels. You can actually search that. Oh, hi there, Adishina Rahim. Nice, you're from Nigeria. Glad that you're joining us. So this is the indicator that I will be using. It's called the Donchian channel, which I just sent to the chat. So or under trading view, you guys can actually search up Donchian channels and you can click on it. You will turn on that indicator. So let me turn off the middle one, inputs. 
So it's the 22 day. All right. So in under settings, you can change it to the rank to 22 or 55. So 22 day. Why is there a setting for 22 days? What's the difference? So you actually move back. The 22 day strategy is actually for, let me get it back. It's for scalping. The 22 day strategy is for scalping. While the 55 day setting, you can notice a big difference. 55 days, there are lesser entries, but it's much more high probability. So well, how, how do they trade? Let me just get it out. So they actually trade on the daily, on those larger time frames, four hours, one hour, or even the daily or weekly charts. So the way they trade is when. So it doesn't look very good, but later I'll show you guys how to better implement it. So if the Donchen channel once price breaks out of this area, out of this box, this blue box, example right here, the total traders start to enter a buy. So they start to have a buy. So probably if it breaks out, enter a buy. Let's say it was breaking out somewhere, enter the buy, stop loss below, and they will continue pushing price to the upside. So they only close out their trade. So that, that is the issue. So there are fake outs. That's the reason why we are looking whether this total trading strategy still works. But honestly, Somebody actually did a test on total trading. So there was a breakdown over the past 20 years. If you actually only use the total trading strategy and you do not implement other trading, you know, other kind of trading strategy, the win rate is actually about 36% or 35%. It's a very, very low win rate. So today we are just finding out whether it still works in the 21st century, 40 years later after it was first used. So fake outs like this, very, very good, Richard. We actually talk about the fake out. So there's a fake out right here. Okay, let me ignore that. Okay, price went up. So let me show a fake out first. Price went up. You want you want to set your stop loss at the big goal. Hoping for price to continue moving upwards, but price failed and hit the stop loss. So yes, that's a fake out. The win rate, let me type it out. It's about... 35% win rate for data of for the past 20 years. So the win rate is actually quite bad. So we are looking at it. We are going to show you how you guys can implement this total trading strategy, you know, to have a better chance of a better probability trade. So looking at that, the way they traded it, they entered. They will just hold on to their trade. They'll just hold on, hold on, hold on until price starts to, you know, potentially start to reverse. The moment they detect or look for reversal, they start to close out their trade. I'm showing the Donchian 22. 22. So under settings, the Donchian channel settings, you can change the rank to 22. All right. So maybe just to show another how they shot it. Let me find the short. All right, the short position example price broke right here. So I'll just show a winning trade and a bad trade at the same time. So let's say they entered stop loss above somewhere. Hence, it's very subjective. It's up to a trader where they want to set their stop loss with a about one to one risk to reward. They can close out their trade. Or if they look at price starts to reverse so if a one-to-one -one risk to reward that's the minimum they can take that so let's find a failed trade so example this area is a fake out we try to sell one-to-one -one risk to reward stop loss above and you get taken out so that's the reason why you cannot just use the total trading strategy alone because of this win rates for data over the past 20 years. All right, so moving on, we are moving on to the 55 day settings. All right, before I move on, any questions so far, do let me know. Any questions about it? All right, so yeah, I can move on. 
Okay, the win rate is too low. What should you recommend? Well, I'll show you, I'll show you, Richard, later how we can improve this total trading strategy with our own, maybe a few other strategies like the MACD, the stochastic, or even you know, smart money concepts. Yes, there is definitely a few other indicators. We'll get right into that. It's in the PowerPoints. All right. So moving next, we are moving on to the 55 day setting. So looking at the 55 day settings, you can go under settings, you can switch it to 55. It's a 55 day setting. So you actually take a look. There's not much trades that there's not much trades available. You actually reduce it. The length has been increased 55 days instead of 22 days. So similarly, if you take a short, so let me find out a few losing trades. So this trade hit a stop loss. So I'll just exit out. Stop loss, this trade. Let me just find some trades. So maybe this area start to break out, you enter. Stop loss below. So this could be a winning trade, one to one. Moving on, this is another winning trade. Stop loss above, so looking for one to one. This hit your stop loss, but if you enter one more time, you could have hit your take profit one to one potentially. Moving on next year, something that hit stop loss. So it's quite a quite a lot of losing trades that we have. So this is pretty good. This one hit stop loss. Pretty good, hit stop loss. So you actually notice so far there are more losing trades. There are way more losing trades using the total strategy now. So you take a short, stop loss above, one to one. So this is pretty good. This actually hit take profit. Moving on to the next, I'm just showing you guys why you should not use the strategy alone, just relying on a single indicator. So let's say you take a shot right here, stop loss, hit your stop loss. So this is a losing trade. So far, we only have three wins out of one, two. We have three wins versus four losses. Right. So please do not, even for other indicators, please do not just use, just focus and rely on one indicator alone. You should combine multiple confluences, you know, to increase your confidence and probability of the trade. So maybe right now in this specific scenario, on the daily, maybe you entered right there, stop loss below. So the trade is potentially still running. If you are looking for one-to-one, -one, it will be right up about there for your trade to hit take profit. So yeah. Just moving on next to improving their strategy. So that's what Richard and Sham Crystal Bar, you guys are asking about that. So you can actually try to use out use the MACD indicator, the stochastic indicator, smart money concepts, or even you know the OG ICT concepts. Yes, yes. Uh free one true. Yes, SL is very big. So for those who have just joined us, the stop loss is very, very big because as I mentioned at the start of this webinar, the turtle traders were a group of people, group of traders who did not know how to trade. So actually an experienced trader, he was trying to find out whether traders could trade properly. So he brought in a group of people with zero experience and started trading the markets using this strategy that I'm presenting. So yeah, their stop loss is fairly wide and they trade on the larger time frame, the daily time frame. So the turtle traders cannot miss a single trade. Back then, they were just looking at the charts every day. If they miss one single trade, it could potentially lose out. They can potentially lose out on profits for the entire, you know, a few months or a few weeks. Because one trade actually take like 12 days. Around 12 days for this current trade is running for 29 days. It's like one month. Yeah, yes. Thank you, Tusha. It's inner circle trader. Yes. So I decided to, you know, to use his concepts today because it's pretty hyped up recently. Many people are talking about it. Smart money concepts, inner circle trader, ICT. So yeah. So I decided to just bring in, bring, bring in his trading concepts today. 
Oh uh, yeah. Do you do training courses for new traders? Unfortunately, I do not. So well, maybe maybe I'll just show some stuff later on. So we are. I'll get back to you on that. All right. So moving back, improving on their strategy. So we first we have the moving average. So what maybe what we can implement? So by default, the Donchian channels, actually, they already gave the moving average, a very, very basic moving average, the orange line. So what a trader can potentially do, they can set their stop loss to not to lose so much, they can pull it down to the moving average because if the price returns, it usually goes back to the moving average area. So it reduces their risk, you know, reduces their risk, then pull it down, reduces their risk. And in such a situation like this, so price comes down, goes back up, nearly touching their stop loss. So total traders should and must always close, their, close out their trade when they spot a potential reversal. So you can use your own trading method. You start to realize, oh, price actually broke a high. Price can continue moving upwards. I should close out my trade at break even or close out right there. So you can reduce your stop, your stop losses, the number of pips you guys are risking setting your stop loss to the moving average. So in such a scenario, maybe pulling it down. Or in this specific case, in this specific scenario, just now we saw that this trade actually hit the stop loss but if we pull up the if we pull up the stop loss all the way to the top to the moving average you notice that price actually did not tap into that area before it continued moving towards your take profit so that's just one of the ways we can actually implement try to improve on that but this is not good enough this definitely got not good enough. You're just relying on another indicator. All right. All right. You do, do, send, do send it in. So Tusha actually asked about the trend ribbon indicator with value greater than 200. So yeah, please feel free to send it in. If you are, let, me, let me see how you use it. So maybe I can help you improve on that. So I can see what confluence you are talking about. Yes, it's the same value. So actually moving on next to implementing stochastic. So maybe I'll clear out this entire, entire area. Moving on next. Why well, don't, I'm not against the use of indicators, but if you notice previously, when I, when I present my trading strategy, I actually don't use indicators. Actually, you just rely on the pure naked chart. I like it when I'm judging the chart. I'm just looking. I'm just trading according to what the chart tells me instead of an indicator. All right. So definitely, yeah, there are traders who profit very, very well by using indicators. But for me personally, when I use indicators, it's the other way around. I actually lose money when I try to use an indicator. So it works for different people, you know, find your own trading strategy. Hopefully it works for you. There's so many trial and error. All right. So maybe I'll just turn this off to not confuse you guys. So moving next to the stochastic. So just a very, very quick one stochastic indicator. So when price goes above, okay, maybe I'll just turn it on right here, stochastic. Right, just a very just looking for a quick example. So is there a upper band and lower band? So lower band normally is at 20 at the 20 area. So if you actually took a look or you want a very, very tight one, put 90, you know, there are some traders who actually do 90, 10. So what you can do right here. So if we take a look, so let's say you take a shot right there, stop loss below. Okay, what to look on if trading without indicator as you mentioned your trading style. All right, so later I'll just, I'll just show you how I trade. So just now I actually took a trade on the euro dollar. Or oh, this is the default setting. 
this default setting it's 90 i okay it's not default so i actually change it to 90 and 10 because it gives a more accurate more tight more tight area for oversold and over box right these are the inputs so i actually just press indicators i just i just search stochastic i just clicked on the first one stochastic and under settings, you can change it to 90 and 10. All right, please take photo of this before we continue. Uh, what do you mean the, in all right, the inputs tab? All right, so this is the default, all the default settings. I'm just showing a few indicators where you can use to improve on this strategy. Right. All right, no problem, no problem. All right, moving on next. So maybe you, you guys, you know, for traders who do not know where to take profit, do not know where to close out their trade, maybe you can rely on the stochastic indicator. Stochastic indicator. So once price, you notice that look at looking at this stochastic right there. So maybe I'll just zoom in, zoom in very, very closely. Maybe when you spot a reversal like this area, you took a sell. You do not where to close out, just watch out for the stochastic indicator right there. It starts to cross over the blue and the orange line. Just put it very simply, you're just looking for that to cross over right here. You can start to close out your trade. So in the end, your take profits might be just right there. So let me draw a line right there. The reversal, you can start to close out your trade. So maybe just looking on to another scenario. So let's say you are taking a shot. Let's say you took a shot right there, expecting momentum to bring price all the way down, but you do not know how far it can go. So you just leave your trade running, you enter a lot size, bam, you enter one lot, just trying to enter the trade. But you start to see price start to cross over. So let me get the line, price cross over right there. You can actually start to close out your trade right there. So your risk to reward becomes, okay, pretty nice. It's still a one-to-one -one risk to reward. Okay, so maybe just looking back at the other charts. Okay, so maybe you, with that, you can prevent yourself from entering a trade, a very, very bad trade. Something like this. Let me find out. So if you actually enter a trade here, you actually hit your stop loss. So this resulted in stop loss getting hit. So it's a bad trade. But with stochastic, if you actually let me get the line out there. So in this scenario, you can you can potentially not enter the trade, not enter the sell when price is already inside. If it's within that area, it's within the oversold area. So you can prevent yourself from losing out on that trade. So I'll just set it as don't enter when price. Okay, when line goes below, very simply, when line goes below the 10 setting line when price goes below 10 settings line okay i'll just set it to 20. so this is for this specific trade right here all right okay you're on the euro dollar h4 right now okay this is actually on the daily charts daily charts that's what we are looking at since the total traders are trading on a very, very huge time frame. All right, so just moving on next. I'll, maybe I'll just show a long example, a few long examples before we continue. Okay, this price actually didn't try to break out. So I'm actually searching for a possible example that failed. Okay, we don't have an example. Okay, price is moving out of this area. Okay, so let's say you want to enter right there. Price is trying to break. It's trying to break right there. 
potentially you could not have entered at this area if you rely on stochastic. Let me just draw two lines out. So this area of trying to break to this area. So in this specific area, you notice that price was in the overbought area. So you could have potentially missed out on the trade if you use the stochastic with that. But if you actually move back, maybe move back, okay, there is no entry. You will have completely missed that because price is always on the overbought area. So there's no chance that you could have possibly, okay, possibly you could have entered right here a very, very small entry with price trying to break right there. Price it below the overbought area. So you could have entered a buy, a very, very small buy position. Your, you try to enter a one-to-one. -one. So let me put it very cleanly, one-to-one, -one, risk to reward. Okay, price did not hit that. But you can start to close out your trade when price is crossing the right here. It starts to cross and potentially start to manage out your trade. Start to close out your trade when price crosses the stochastic. So yeah, please do not just rely on one single indicator. So I just showed you an example where the trade can be pretty bad, pretty hard to manage, especially in this situation right there. All right, just finding a, a nice long trade. I just want to show you guys a trade that is nice, nice long trade. Right, there isn't much. Right, just moving on next to... Okay, have you guys... This is the most interesting one. Have you guys used smart money concepts? Smart money concepts, any guys, any, any of you guys heard of it? Smart money concepts? No, no. All right, Richard. All right, I'm just interested. What kind of trading method do you guys use? Oh, shame you heard, but you have not used it. Well, smart money concepts is actually, it's similar to ICT concepts, which is inner circle trader. So yes, you want to learn that. Well, good news for you. I actually use, is my personal trading style. I actually use inner circle trader concepts for my trading. So I can show you guys how to, you know, how to have a better entry, a very, very good entry. Yes, supply and demand zone breakouts. Very, very nice. Then also we have the more complicated, a very, very technical method. It's the white off method. Well, the difference between ICT and SMC is, okay, if I'm very, being very, very frank, I'm not citing anyone, I'm not citing ICT, but ICT is the creator of smart money concepts. But smart money concepts, many trading gurus, they actually switch the name smart money concepts. They switch many of his terms that he taught and then they sold it. They sold it as smart money concepts instead of ICT concepts. So it was uh, actually a way for gurus to sell their courses. So that's where the term SMC came from. So yeah, I'll just focus on ICT concepts and Wyckoff. So Wyckoff is actually very, very technical. It's very complicated. So I actually did a few webinars regarding Wyckoff before. So out of the webinars, out of maybe 100 people, 200 people that I talked to, only maybe one or two people just use Wyckoff at the end of the session. All right, submit so you use RSI, Stochastic, EMA5 on the H1 and H4 for your trading. Interesting. Feel free to send in your chart so I can take a look at that too. So for Wyckoff, just a very, very quick one before we start doing the ICT concepts. So for Wyckoff, we have the distribution. We can start to spot out distribution, accumulation phases in the charts. So it's very, it's pretty technical. We have to follow a fixed set of, you know, you can see the charts right there, Wyckoff, there's a BC. AR, ST, UTU, TED, TES, and LPS. So these are just schematics that you have to follow. It's very, very similar to Elliott's wave. So Elliott wave, we, we have wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four. 
But for Wyckoff, there's a specific type of shape and you can start to mark out and spot when price distributes or when price accumulates to go higher. So just a very, very quick brief one. So moving back to ICT concepts. So let me clear out these charts. So maybe using ICT concepts, we are, we are using a few terms. We have D, BSLQ. What is BSLQ? We are looking at liquidity. So very, very first thing on liquidity on ICT concepts, liquidity, you are looking where price can potentially hit to. Just imagine it as people, as traders are setting their stop losses right there. So in this specific scenario, let me just close out the top Donchian channel. If you actually draw a line, I'm looking at liquidity right now. This is how I trade. So I actually don't use indicators. I'm just showing you guys. Maybe you guys can implement this together with the turtle trading strategy. So if you draw a line, a line right there, a resistance line. Uh, okay, I'll just take it as the support line. You notice that there are equal rows right there. So just take it as you are looking where prices can potentially hit to, to clear out the area. So price came down. Just a very, very quick introduction to that. Price came down and, you know, cleared out the area, cleared out the sell side liquidity. So this area, you can call it the SSLQ or sell side liquidity. So looking where price can clear and let me find an example for buy side liquidity so right here we have equal highs right there so this area is the buy side liquidity top price how do we spot the buy side liquidity so very very easy you can draw a circle you take a look at this area price actually went up to clear out the something called the equal highs. So I'm just doing a very, very quick one. That's how I trade equal highs right there. So we are looking for prices with the Donchian channel where it can potentially hit right back to. So let's say if you are looking for a sell, you are looking for a sell after price went down here, but it's too soon. So you start to look for a sell again, expecting maybe the Donchian channel to fill up this area like that. but you can spot liquidity. You're looking at this area where you are waiting for price to clear out the area first before you start to look for a short to the downside. It's just a very, very quick one. Next, we have the, you notice here too, price cleared the sell side liquidity and you can use that to add confluence to your trade. Take a short position, you know, with that confirmation, stop loss above have a estimated one to one risk to reward, but in this scenario, it did not. So, with ICT concepts, we can actually start to spot potential market structure shift. So, what is a market structure shift? So, I'll just type it out market structure shift, or we can call it MSS. So let me just clear out this market structure shift or MSS. So with that, we take a look how price moves. So normally price moves in this scenario. Price goes up. Okay, maybe I'll just get the arrow. How do we spot a market structure shift for a reversal? This okay, this can be used in any trading strategy. You can take a look. Let me get the arrow out. So is it the path? So when price goes down, what you want to see is very, very nice. Zigzags for price to continue bearish. But what happens? What happens next when price goes up? Creates a new high. So this is a higher high. Price goes down, continues moving upwards. So price has changed direction. So this is called a market structure shift. So you are looking for a zigzag right there to be broken. Let me get the path to. So in this specific scenario, there was a market structure shift where a higher high 
was formed. So that's when you can start to close out your trade if you are using the Donchian trading strategy, the turtle trading strategy. So in this specific scenario, let me draw out again. So price goes down, comes up, goes down, comes up, goes down, and breaks before price continues moving upwards. So this is how it looks like where your market structure shift happened right, like right there. So in this specific scenario, once price has broken this area, you can potentially close out your trade, taking a little profit, not much, before else price would have hit your break even. So that's how you can spot potential market structure shifts or potential reversal for you to close out your trade. So are any questions so far on you know the market structure shift? All right, on market structure shift. Any questions so far? Do let me know. So I'll just show an another example for shorts. So let's say price goes up, continues going up, but a lower zigzag was formed. That's when we have the market structure shift. We have a lower low. A lower low was formed. So that's another form of a market structure shift. So far, any questions regarding that? Any questions regarding that? All right, so you want to try on, do you mean USD, JPY? USD, JPY? All right, all clear. Very, very good. Let me move on. Okay, he wants USD, JPY. All right, let me just clear out this entire chart. So in this specific scenario, just looking at the daily, just charging by the daily. All right, uh, Richard, I'll get right back to you. So take a look right here. Price came down, goes up. Let's continue going up, down, up. And next, we have a market structure shift. So we are looking at right here, Right now, price has already had a very, very clear market structure shift right there. So if we actually pull it out, it looks like this. I'll just make it pretty clean for you guys to take a look at. So we can have possible market structure shift has a high probability on what time frame? Even on the one minute, you can do it on all time frames, even on the one minute. So I'll just show you guys in a bit. So in this specific scenario, what we don't want to happen is if price goes down, goes up, creates a new higher high, that's when we have another market structure shift potentially for price to move to the upside. So that's another type of market structure shift. So just moving on to the one minute, just to show you, it also works on the one minute charts. Then I'll show you guys probably how to implement it on the Dodgen channel. So maybe you can use it for scalping purposes also. So take a look, price went up. And it, what happened? It formed a lower low. Price goes up, comes down and continues bearish. So I'll just pull it out right here. So this is on the one minute chart. So right now we can actually implement the Donchian trading strategy to it. So we have a market structure shift right there. Next, so I just show it right here. It's the same right there. Price has also broken, broken, trying to break out of the Donchian channel. So we can take a shot. You can potentially start to enter an immediate shot. Stop loss above the most recent high. This on the one minute chart and trying to enter a potential one to one risk, one to one risk to reward. All right, so in this situation, it's 0 0.99. Well, we can also have a better entry using ICT concepts. So, with that said, you can actually enter on something called a fair value gap. So I'm just showing you guys very, very quick something called the fair value gap. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Tusha. So yes.
Yes, yes. So yeah, SMC Smart Man Concepts. Yes, thank you very much for posting that. He's a YouTube channel. He actually teaches institutional trader moves. Yep. Thank you, Tusha, for that. And yeah, Richard. So yeah, he actually just shared a channel on the explanation of ICT concepts. Yeah, ICT concepts is pretty confusing. There are a few YouTubers out there who, who actually explain it in a simpler term. So right now, I'll just show you guys something called the fair value gap or the market imbalance or market inefficiency. So just showing you right there. So what is an, a market imbalance? Take a look right here. Price came up to clear that gap right there. So we have a gap, a market in inefficiency, fair value gap. Price came up, clear that area before it continued moving bearish. So instead of entering right there on the Dodgen channel, instead of entering just immediately when price tried to break your stop loss above, and trying to enter a one to one, what you could have done is you could have a retracement entry on the fair value gap. So in this specific scenario, we have a fair value gap right there. So price came back up, and we tested. We tested the market inefficiency area before it continued pushing to the downside. So you could have had a better, a potential better entry right there. Short position, stop loss above. Have a pretty nice one-to-one -one risk to reward before you close out your trade. So I'm just doing a very, very simple explanation of ICT concepts today. There's too much to talk about. So, so yeah, you guys can actually follow on to the YouTube channel. Tusha, he has already said it in chats. So, well, that's where you can have a better entry entering on the retracement at the market imbalances, the market inefficiencies, or fair value gaps. So, let's implement the Donchian channels. Let's show it. So, take a look. Price try to break out. You would have a retracement entry and for price to continue moving to the downside. Right. There's just a way you could have, have a better entry. Or another way you could have entered it. Let me just show it. Right. So let me get this out of it. So you can actually have a better sniper entry. So what I noticed, okay, this is on my personal backtesting. So I backtested it personally. So after a very huge drop, a very, very huge drop like that, market structure shift right there. So I noticed that sometimes price actually taps into the 38%, 38% Fibonacci line. So you can actually use the Fibonacci line drawing from the top to the bottom right there. So you notice that price tapped very nicely into the 38.2% before it continued moving bearish. So with that entry in mind, you could have even better entry. So the confluence is there's a 38% Fibonacci line there and it's within the market's imbalance. So we take a short position right there. Take a short, stop loss above. You notice that your this to reward has greatly improved. Your one to one trade would have been stopped out right there. One to one, this to reward before price continues moving up. So if you did not enter or at that thirty eight point two percent, you entered right there. Your one to one risk to reward would have taken a longer time for it to take effect. By then, you would have probably already broken even your trade before it hits your take profit. So yeah, any questions so far on the market imbalances that you guys do not understand? Do let me know. So yeah, actually I do, I do quite, I actually do a few on my, I have a, oops, stop, okay, let me find. Right, this is my personal trading view account. I'll just send it to chat. So you guys, if you guys have any questions, you know, 
feel free to just chat me up. Just send me a message. Send me a message on TradingView with your charts. Please do not ask me like, or oh, USDJPY, is it a buy or is it a sell? Well, I will not, I will, I will not give out signals. You guys send me your charts. I'll just give my insights. So actually do a few forecasts, potential forecasts, where price might potentially hit to. So yeah, you guys can follow me on TradingView. Feel free to give it a follow. Are there any ICT indicators on TradingView we can use? Well, there is. There is. That's good to know. So there's something called the fair value gap. So indicators, fair value gap. Can search it up. It's called the fair value gap indicator. Just send it to chat and click on that. So you notice that price. Okay, this is not a good one. Okay, maybe right here. So do not do not focus on the old ones. Maybe look at the more recent areas to spots where price might potentially head towards. So maybe I'll just use it on the larger time frame. So looking at this area, generally a fair value gap is made when there is an area like that where price has previously not tapped into. So you can use that indicator. It can potentially help you to spot out all the market imbalances. You can test it out. Feel free to test it out. Well, the MACD settings are the default one. Mac, oh, yes. MACD moving average. So maybe a MACD crossover strategy. Turning on with the Donchen channel. So moving back to the daily. Let's take a quick look at that. So I'm actually just using the default settings. Ah, yes, definitely, definitely. So, well, I kind of agree with what Richard has just said. It's not a, it's not a good indicator. Many beginner traders actually try to use the MACD, try to say there's crossover. Just to let you guys know if trading is so simple, if it's so simple as looking at a MACD indicator, everyone would just be looking at the chart, just waiting for, you know, the crossover before they start to buy, crossover before they start to sell. Yeah, so you actually, if you sell right there, just purely by the crossover, trying to sell a MACD, stop loss above, expecting price to continue bearish, it would have already hit your stop loss. You would not have to went where you wanted it to be. So yeah, pretty much what Richard says is true. So yeah, when I was when I was when I first started trading, I also used the MACD and I lost a lot of money just by focusing on the crossover. Crosses over, I buy. Crosses below, I start to sell. So please use other forms of indicators. Other form of indicators, other strategies to add on to your trading style. No problem, no problem. Yes, RSI pretty good. It's pretty good for the overbought and oversold. So yeah, that being said, with that, again, Donchen, okay, total trading strategy. If you focus on it alone, 35% win rates. Right. So, do you think by the end of this webinar, do you guys think that the total trading strategy still works by itself? You think you can just buy when it breaks, sell when it starts to go down? Do you think it still works very well in this? Do you think it still works well in this current day market? Or do you think the total trading strategy still works? So yeah, that's why I actually show you guys, please implement other types of trading strategy. So yeah, it's awesome. Work well, just practice as well. Please implement other forms of trading strategy before you try to buy or sell solely using the Donchen channel. Right. So just a very, very quick one also. People actually use the total trading strategy on markets such as bonds and interest rates, the 30-year U.S. Treasury bond, the 10-year U.S. Treasury bond, they even use it on commodities. 
commodities, coffee, cocoa, cocoa, sugar, cotton, energy even, food, oil, gas, and of course, forex. So out of curiosity, what is your preferred RSI setting? So if I were to use an RSI, so there were a few of my viewers who actually told me they use settings. If, let me try to remember. They actually have a very, very tight setting. Let me find the setting. So they have an upper band of 90 and a lower band of, of 10. I, if I'm not wrong, 10. 20 or 10. Something very, very tight. Let me try to find it. Or is it 20? I think it, it was 80. 20 and 80. Let me just change it. 80 and 20. So I'll just not show the middle band. So they have a pretty, pretty tight one. A few of my a few of my viewers actually told me that they actually back tested it 80 and 20, gives them better results. So you can feel free to test out that settings 80 and 20 setting. Feel free to test it out. That's the period. To show you the rank it's 14. Right, yes. Feel free to check out Richard's method. He just told you about his RSI settings. Feel free to back test it. Please do not use a new strategy and just use your real money. Please back test it out on your demo account before you start. So after this entire session, we just want to know with the 35% win rate and the multiple losses that you can potentially incur just by using the Donchen channel, does this mean the total trading rules have stopped working? The answer is probably a yes and no. So yes, I'll show you guys it has stopped working given the poor trading results. But, that, but does that mean that the trend following is dead? Well, it does not mean that straight up with a few other trading strategies which I have shown, it can work pretty well with the ICT trading concepts with the stochastic indicator. All right. Let me see what else. So a three important lessons, a three important takeaways for today that you can learn from this strategy. You must understand the concepts behind any trading strategy before you use it straight up. You have to know the pros and cons of it. What are the cons of it? Why did I lose a trade if I just use this indicator? So you understand the concept behind it first. Next, you also have to manage your risk. A good trading strategy also has to come with a very, very good risk management, only risking 1% to 2% of your account. And you have also, you also have to adapt to changing market conditions. So the total trading strategy, this works back in, worked well, worked well in 1980s when they tested it out. So does it still work in the current market? That's up for you guys to test it out, up for you guys to you know, back test it, look back on past data to judge. So yeah, just in conclusion, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to let me know before I end this webinar. Just remember, trade properly, use other forms of other tra strategies, trading strategies, combine it with this Donchian channel before you enter a trade. Have your confirmation too. And please do not forget to check out ICT Concepts on YouTube. It's free. He's not charging a single cent. Anybody who's asking money, you know, charging you money to learn ICT Concepts, they are probably, probably scammers. So yeah, any more questions, let me know before I end this session. Yes, definitely. It usually, you, you always work. It's just working. The key is trade management, definitely. That's the reason why we have to implement other styles of trading to this. So yeah, thank you, Richard. You seem very, very knowledgeable. You seem knowledgeable on trading. How long have you been trading? All right.
Wow, wow, nice, nice. 11 years. Well, really, I do, I do feel very honored that you are joining me today for this webinar. So yeah, really, thank you guys for joining. Wow, nice. You just started in October at on Forex. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. So yeah, if you are just started trading, my recommendation is to, you know, just learn everything first. Use a demo account, get the consistency. Get the consistency, get the consistency in trading before you guys, you know, use a real life account. Prevent yourself from losing more money. Well, so many new traders. Well, do expect that only 5% of traders make it to the very end. Only the consistent ones make it. Yes, once you start trading and making money, time passes very fast. All right, so if there are no further questions, really would like to thank everyone for staying to the end of the session. Thank you very much for joining. All right. So yeah, if you just... just Trade safe, take care, and goodbye. Thank you guys for joining. Bye, bye guys. Hey, take care. Thank you, Richard, for thank you, Richard, for your, you know, for that kindness not to share. So yeah, we are doing just a webinar. Appreciate it. Hey, bye, man. Bye bye. Bye, everyone.